design instead of linear. So although this is by quarter, it is understood that by quarter we have formation. Mm -hmm. So in the first quarter, uh, since this is uh, a beginning of the one year program, so we title it, Who Am I? So basically this is all about getting to know each other. So on the first stage, the pre catechumenate stage, we're in uh, the, the center is the catechist itself. So our activity here is uh, because we will try to draw out from themselves their vocation story. So how they get to know catechetical ministry, what motivates them to join the catechetical ministry. So the first activity is we'll present a video clip or a, vi a video presentation of someone who lived a life of uh, giving up himself for the sake of uh, doing ministry to other people. So, kahit ano na, basta makakita kami ng ganong video clip. And then, we'll also have the, of course, after the video clip, they will share their own vocation story. So, bakit sila na, uh, uh, ano yung sinasabi ko, what motivates them to, to join the Katekatekal Ministry, and parang ganon, their, their life story, vocation story. And then also, another activity is the human bingo. And of course, processing yan, processing yan, share-share lang sila, makinig lang kami sa kanila. So after that, uh, we will try to take note that this is a three days seminar. No? Three days yung ano na duration namin. So siguro sa second day or in the afternoon, meron na kaming processing. So yung ano namin dito is, we will try to connect it no, in the catechumenate stage, we will try to connect it on the personhood of Christ, uh, Jesus. So ito yung question of Jesus on Matthew 16, 15. For you, who do you say that I am? So, uh, yun naman. Uh, we will anchor that on, the, on that particular gospel, and then they will try to reflect for them who Jesus is for them. So, mag-share-share yan sila. Tapos, uh, we will give input based from their sharing on who Jesus is. Uh, siguro not necessarily very catechetical as uh, Father Diggs would say, it's not it's not more on doctrinal but more of significance, no? not really on the truths but on the significance of who Jesus for them. So, para i-affirm lang sa kanila yung vocation story, what motivates them to enter to catechetical ministry because, of course, they have known the person of Jesus Christ. So, parang ganon yung uh, second stage namin. Third, uh, on the puri purification and illumination stage, so we will try to draw our catechists to, to, we will try to challenge them na i-commit. No? They will commit themselves na kahit this is still on the first quarter, but Meron na silang, uh, they will have this hope that I will do my best no? because I see myself as, uh, as, a, as a child of God. No? Mahal ako ng Panginoon sa so ganon. So, meron kami dito uh, activity of a life of St. Francis of Assisi, video clip. And then, uh, after that, uh, sharing naman, no? uh, processing of that, of that experience. Uh, but, the, but the emphasis, the theme here is we will try to challenge them and to draw them into uh, committing themselves. No? Parang, oo nga, meron kung kaya nila, meron mga taong ganun. So ako din, parang gusto ko din na i-offer yung sarili ko sa catechetical ministry. So that's it. And on the fourth stage, we will have, uh, we will, yung activity naman namin dito is we will ask them to, to make their own commitment prayer. Commitment prayer muna commitment prayer. Uh, of course, yung celebration na. Uh, ito yung metagogy. Metag oh, oh. So, merong commitment prayer. Of course, uh, Eucharist. So, that that is for the first quarter, three-day seminar ito. Tapos, nag-progress ito. Kasi on the first quarter, parang ganun. Uh, so, we understand that as a catechist, catechist na kasi ito sila, uh, importante din sa kanila na they will know their background more. Parang, oh, andito kami ngayon, pero bakit ka kami ng, bakit nga ako ngayon? Why, why, my, my responses, my uh, actuations are of course 
based from my past. So the second quarter, we will still have three-day seminar on genogram. So paano namin itong gagawin? Genogram. So gagawin namin ito is, of course, uh, on the first day, my kumustahan, no? Kumustahan, of course, kumustahan. We will listen to them, their experiences. And then we will ask them to to draw or to write a uh, family tree. No? Yung family tree nila, yung mga characteristics ng grand grand uh, parents nila. So that's it. Uh, genogram. So, yung emphasis namin dito is for them to be able to appreciate and to accept sa unsa man, uh, kung ano man yung unsaman. <laughs> Sorry. So, ano man yung tinagtahanan nila. So, that's it. Okay. Kung unsaman. And on the third stage, purification and illumination stage, meron kaming activity dito is tinatawag namin healing of paralysis. No? Wow. Healing of paralysis. Yung, alam nyo na siguro kung paano ito gagawin. Pero actually, ito nakaisip nito uh, si Ati Maris. Pero nahiya lang siya mag-explain. Pero marami siyang marami siyang while thinking of the box. Thinking outside the box. Okay. And then on the fourth stage, uh, which is cycle of love. No? Affirmation. Parang <laughs> cycle of love. Pero yung ano namin dito, yung emphasis na dito. Circle daily? Circle, recycle. Did it circle? Oh, circle. Cycle kasi yung nasulat dito. Okay. Circle of love. But we will emphasize more on the affirmation, uh, affirmative side. <laughs> circle. Okay, third quarter, uh, we will have a seminar on Christian leadership training. This is, again, three days. On the, yung unang araw, nasa first stage din siya, uh, team building activity. So, mag-isip kami ng team building activity. And of course, processing. Uh, kailangan namin dito na hindi kagat namin ma we will not uh, give them uh, input on leadership pero sila mismo yung makaisip now sila being a leader no so they will have a sharing on on their kind of leadership a kind of catechism that they have their experiences with each other and of course uh, being a uh, teaching at school in school meron dito second stage ay meron pa Johari's window. Johari's window, yung, uh, of course, yun, ano, pasok-pasok kami ito. Uh, second stage is, we will draw them, we'll try to uh, challenge them by uh, reading to them a gospel that talks about washing of the feet. Anong gospel to? John 13. Oh, washing of the feet. Well, hindi ko kasi sinulat, sinulat natin to. <laughs> washing of the feet. And then, yung, the fourth stage is mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tal, tal di matrix. Tal di matrix. So, ito yung mga activity namin. And on the fourth quarter, the last quarter na, ito yung parang highlight na. Kasi, you have to take note that our objective or the outcome based ang yung outcome namin is to mold them into not just catechist with teacher yeah? but missionary disciple oh, missionary disciple so retreat ang ano namin dito retreat pero the topic of the retreat is uh, called commitment and discipleship so on the first part the uh, video presentation the mic is okay so for the first stage for the fourth quarter it is for sharing about their 
learnings for the whole year. So for I third quarter, so we Fourth now. Fourth now. Fourth. You're sorry, Fourth now. Sige. Ayan. For the fourth quarter. So that is more on self-discovery. And then, I fourth. Actually, si Ma'am ang nagsulat dito. Ma'am Jen, pero nahiya talaga siya. Baka next time na lang daw. Ako kasi yung facilitator, kaya ako yung napilitang mag-report. Okay, so, uh, fourth quarter, retreat na ito, retreat. So, the, the theme of the retreat is commitment and discipleship. So, how we do that, on the first day, they will have a sharing, uh, discovery of their learning experience the whole year. And then, uh, we will draw them into to reflect on the disciple Matthew 28, 16-20 uh, disciples eh, disciple, they were called to preach the good news to all corners of the world and then uh, third stage uh, pray, prayer contemplation so Para ito naman yung mag-strengthen, this, this would strengthen their commitment. So, Ate Maris is, uh, suggested that they will select, no? select a particular gospel, gospel story. And then from that gospel story, they will put themselves as one of the characters. And then their, their feelings, something like that. So, prayer contemplation so that they will be able to appreciate that their their value, their worth as a catechist is always rooted in, in, in the person of Jesus. So, prayer contemplation. And then, on the fourth stage, of course, the mass with commissioning. Commissioning. So, that's it. Okay, uh, just uh, for some clarification. So your outcome is that the catechist at the end of this year, one year, uh, I would say ongoing formation, kasi hindi naman tayo pinaka-base na uh, nila, they are supposed to, uh, you expect them to uh, become missionary disciples. Exhibit uh, characteristics or qualities of uh, uh, missionary disciples, okay? Now, uh, so you start with the first quarter, the theme is who am I? The second quarter, why am I here? And the third quarter is uh, uh, Christian disciples, Christian leadership. And fourth quarter is the experience where you develop the theme on commitment and discipleship. Okay? There is just, uh, the second quarter, what is your catechumenate uh, uh, activities? Second quarter, para hindi ko na kuha yun eh. The genealogy of Jesus. Ah, the genealogy of Jesus. Ah, okay. Okay. And then, the, the Christian leadership, the, uh, yung purification and elimination, plus mystagogy, what are your activities there? Second stage, father? Third quarter. A third quarter. Third quarter, third stage. Third stage, mirror and mirror on the wall. Uh, Johari's window. Yeah. Is that not, is that, is that not the first stage, yeah? Quick cut? Oh, yeah, Johari's oh. window, first activity, uh -huh. then the third, father, Then we have stage. the washing of the feet. So yes, after the washing of the feet. Then we have the mirror, mirror on the wall. Okay. And then the mistake. What's the mystagogy? Mirror, mirror on the wall. No, that's no, that. You said that's that the the purification, the elimination. Mystagogy. Uh, 
Oh, anyway, uh, you just put it up, dog, when you are uh, okay. I just want to point out again, I emphasize, the mistak kuchi is always a necessary sacramental experience. Okay. And not only sacramental experience, you say, oh, Eucharist kami dito, hindi. The Eucharist is supposed to be a meaningful one for them. In that celebrating of the celebration of the Eucharist, you lead your catechist. What in the Eucharist, in that celebration, make them, uh, uh, what do you call some or yung bang, uh, make them realize that they are catechists or they are they, they you know, yung eco connect siya lagi to the first story or the second story or the so here ito yung kaibahan natin eh, di ba? Tayo, ang dalas natin ano, BMW. Tapos, parang tayong, then afterwards, we have a memory station, tapos, uh, tagto for worship, prayer, ganyan, ganyan. Okay. Ang lagi kilagyan natin sa, oh, activity. Then, natapos na activity, ano nangyari? This is what I'm trying to lead you to get away from that situation but that uh, we, uh, uh, we accustom ourselves to organize for them, for our students. For the sake of activity, hindi nga eh. What is the significance of that? And for example, Ms. Taguchi, the celebration of sacraments. In that celebration, what are the symbols, for instance, what are the, what were the what were the, the the rites that touched me and made me realize that that I am supposed to be or they call this a Christian leader? Kano? Wong yung wong yung papa kawalan yung theme. Kasi pag pag is ano lang dito oh Eucharist oh, with commitment. Hey, that is ano na yan? Araw-araw subok ka. Lumang tuktogi na yani. Eh. Kasi the, the whole baptismal catechumenate model invites the catechumen, not the catechumen, to go to that experience and make it part of his or her life. Na matatapos ang proseso, dala-dala niya yun, and that will uh, my, my challenge him or her to deepen more. Because there could, there should have been a personal encounter with Christ. Diba? Sa, 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 sa slides, uh, new evangelization needs, requires a personal encounter with which at times it has to be intentional. Talagang nakalagi sa programa yan. Kasi oftentimes we take for granted na may encounter with Christ in our catechetical activity na wala namang pala. Kasi nabanggit lang natin si Kristo o nabasa lang natin yung genealogy niya. Diba? Kaya lang importante na uh, the whole process, the encounter with Christ is deep in. Kaya nang sabi ko, spiral siya eh. Spiral. You start with the story of the catechist, connect it with the story of Jesus, and then the then you invite the catechist to look into his life in the light of the story of Jesus and then celebrate through the sacraments this relationship with Jesus. Yun yun. So group 6, ang ginawa na, which is uh, laudable, is that yung spiral approach, ginam, ang, ang ginamit na is full, full circle. The four stages, and then second quarter, another four stages, the third quarter, another four stages, the fourth four part, another four stages. That is good. Dito yun talaga yung spiral na spiral talaga. Kaya lang, ang nakita ko, nandun pa rin kayo sa activity for the sake of sabihin natin, may activity tayo para dito. Wala yung pagtutuhok eh. The weaving, the weaving of the catechist story with the story of Jesus, back to, this, the, to the catechist story, enlightened now with it, and then to the community, celebrating the sacraments, and living the Christian life. Importante yung weaving niya. Uh, weaving. 
Ganyan ang nangyayari sa simbahan ng Pilipinas. 2021, we were gonna celebrate already our 500 years of evangelization. The bishops organized a nine-year preparation. Ano nakita niyo sa nine years? Matatapos na tayo, parang wala naman nangyari. Taon-taon, may year na ganito, may year na ganito. Ngayon, year of the clergy consecrated, nararamdaman ba? Wala. Kasi, kanya-kanyang commission eh. Walang nagtutuhog. This is the point of Cardinal Tagli. Sabi niya, there must be a weaving of all these experiences until we reach the high point. Ganito yun sa baptismal catechumenate. There is a weaving of the story of the experience of the first encounter of the catechumen or the, now the catechist with Jesus. And then, palalim ng palalim. Para may impact. Kasi pag hindi natin ginawa yan, lalabas dyan, impacto. Hmm? No, it must be really tumatagos sa puso yan. Yes, yeah. not just the heart. Diba? Yun, okay? So, uh, I believe that what you have presented, nandiyan na yung foundation. Ngayon, ilalagay nyo lang siya, didevelop nyo siya more on the baptismal catechumenal spirit. And, nakita nyo naman sa handout yung mistakop, yung mga questions lang. Dapat ang mga activities nyo may mga questions. So that the one reading this could feel, ah, ibang klaseng catechetical formation to. Hindi ito lang input-input. Talagang nagproposeso ang katekista because of the questions that are addressed to them and they need to answer. But the questions are, again, weave together. Ha? Huh? Okay? Ma ano na yung ano nyo dito, yung mga activities nyo, ano dyan. Halimbawa sa, yung washing of the feet is a very strong uh, episode na kapag yan ay um, inugnay nyo sa buhay ng katekista with matching with matching uh, uh, kumbaga, action na magugasan sila ng paa sa isa't isa. Hmm. Yeah? Yes. Uh, so that's, that's your, supposed to be your mistago. Eh, ba't nag-mirror and mirror on the wall kayo dyan? O kaya na, eh parang yung mirror mirror on the wall It's the third stage of the purification oh, na makita nila yung ano. Eh baka siguro yung paano lang nila may mirror on the wall ito para purify. Eh basta tuloy-tuloy na kayo. Kasi uh, the, the, the washing of the feet could stand for the, could be part of the mistago because it represent it is a It's connected with the Eucharist, di ba? That is the Eucharist, that's the Last Supper version of John. Kaya, mag-aano ito, di ba? So, ang uh, tawag dito. Tapos, for example, Mr. Kajun, yung Circle of Love. Ano itong, how would you, again, sacraments, no? Sacraments. And don't forget sa Mr. Kajun, sacraments and community. Community. May pa, meron silang gagawin. In fact, maganda na sa first quarter nyo, Uh, uh, commitment prayer and Eucharist and let them do something no? uh, for the community. So, pagbalik ng second quarter, ang tatanang tanong is start with what happened to you during the past three months no? where you committed yourself to do this no? and we celebrate yun. Yun, yun, yun ang tuloy-tuloy siya. Diba? Yun. Ganun. Okay? Yeah. So, para At the end talaga masabi nila, I have gone through an experience of becoming a missionary disciple. Imagine, missionary disciple kayo, hindi man sila pinalabas sa community. Walang connection sa community. Disciple, mag, mag eh, missionary. No? Yun ang ano ko lang dito. Okay? I'm, I'm trying to critique this because maganda sana na after this, you reflect again as a group and refine it. And then, this is your gift to one another. When you go back to your places at the end of two weeks, may dadala kayong mga ilang pala na pwede niyong gamitin in your own uh, ministry. Diba? That's why I would say, I'm, I'm asking, put it in the computer, in the, in the either uh, do, do, uh, documents, Word document, or PowerPoint, whatever, so that isi-share na lang natin sa lahat yan. Diba? Okay? Alright. Thank you, group number six. 
Do I go to group number five? Good afternoon, everyone. So, for the output of the group five, we will have a course on prayer and our expected outcome. Again, let me repeat and let me review you. At the end of this course, the catechist will have a deeper relationship and intimacy with God through prayer. The time frame for this, there will be four sessions, once a month, two hours every session. So for the first page, pre catechumenate and that's the first session. See, for and the time frame, four sessions. Four sessions, once a month, and two hours every session. Four sessions, once a month, so four months. Four months. Or two hours. Two hours per month. No? Okay. Thank you. So the, for the first stage, that is the first session. Pre-cuminate. So there will be an uh, animation song. Kamusta ka na? Yung SD, SDD song na Kamusta ka na? And then hashtag, anong pangalan mo? Anong birthday mo? Anong parish, parish ka nanggaling? Anong vicariate ka? Okay? To unfreeze. Okay? And then there will be a group sharing. And there is a reflection, guided reflection. Okay? There, there is a question there is a guide question what is your peak moment or uh, uh, peak experience in your prayer life number two what are the events in your life that you feel that God is present so that's the two uh, guided question to be shared for the groupings at the end of the group sharing there will be an affirmation part through gestures. Uh, we call it the giving of the sign of peace according to the theme of the sharing. Okay? For example, uh, the sharer will go to, to the each member and bless him. Mahal ka ng Diyos. Uh, sign, sign niyo ang forehead. Okay? Tap on the shoulder. Depende sa fruit of their sharing. And then, there will be a prayer partner. Pick a name of a person and then you have to pray for that person throughout the course. Okay? And then, because this is a course, there they have an assignment. Okay? They will uh, pick a scripture passage. Okay? And then, they will uh, give, uh, they will journal their, their, the fruits of their prayer experience with the scriptures that they pick on the jar. Okay? So, yun po yung assignment nila. The, the biblical passage already given. Okay? So, that is uh, first stage. The first session. The closing song for the first session is I love you in the love of the Lord. Okay? So, yun po yung close. We will end with the closing song. Okay? And then, for the second section, Catechumenate, we end with the closing song with the I love you with the love of the Lord. That will be the opening song for the second stage. And, the Kamusta ka na. Okay? Then, there will be sharing of their uh, fruits of their journal. Okay? Di ba may assignment po? Uh, journal experience, a prayer experience. Then that is guided, uh, we will integrate the gospel text. We have uh, three gospel texts. Matthew 26 to uh, verse 26 to 44, the agony in the garden, the Lord, uh, well, let your let your will be done, okay? Not my will, but yours. And then Matthew 14, chapter 14, verse 23, 
in the evening Jesus prayed. And then Ma Mark 1, 35, in the morning Jesus prayed with his apostles. Okay? And then we also would like to to get the gospel, the vine and the branches, the gospel yesterday. Okay? And then we would like to integrate the topic that Jesus is the teacher of prayer. And then the importance of prayer and the kinds of prayer. Tapos po, mayroon kaming video clips of Jesus praying. Okay? And then, uh, the gesture of affirmation again. There will be a background, uh, a song, Kaibigan, si Ino Pang, Tutulong Sa'yo. Okay? And while holding their hands, okay? Okay? While they holding their hands together, okay? Okay? Then, after that, there will be a silent prayer for the prayer partner. And then silence. And we will end with the song, We Are the Reason. Okay, thank you for giving the song. Okay. That's the end of the second stage, uh, second session. Now, the third session will be purification and elimination. Okay? The, our opening song is Kay Bigan. Okay? Then, uh, the first activity will be entitled that I may be one with Jesus. Okay? Uh, we get it from the Gospel of St. John. Chapter 17, 11 to 26, when Jesus prayed for his uh, apostles okay, before his suffering, okay, before his crucifixion, during the Last Supper discourse. Okay? <laughs> and then, uh, okay, there will be a video clip on footprints in the sand. Okay. And then uh, the closing gesture will be wash. Ah, there will be a commitment. Yeah. Okay, sa gospel ni Chan kasi ay yung activity na that I may be watched. Okay, the eh, dalagyan namin ng blanco yung yung prayer that they will feel that they uh, the, yung sa blank, lalagay nila yung pangalan nila so that they will feel that Jesus is praying for them okay. so, yun yung activity that I, may, uh, that I may be one with Jesus okay. so sa closing gesture it's the washing of the feet uh, John 13 verse 4 to 15 because uh, we get this one kasi sa, di ba si Peter he refused to be washed but Jesus answered you don't have a connection with me unless I will wash you okay so while they are washing their, their, the feet of each other there will be a song pagkakaibigan okay so okay okay Oh, that's the end. That's the end of the third. third stage, purification and illumination. We go to the fourth stage, the fourth, the fourth, fourth session. Okay, Mistaguchi. The opening song will be the the last song of the last Pagkakaibigan. Okay, and we will introduce the lecture and life. Okay. Uh, lecture on life, okay, focusing on the experience of the washing of the feet, okay. So there will be meditacho, oracho, operacho, operacho, okay. Okay, and bridging that to the to the holy Eucharist, which is the highest form of prayer. 
And the Eucharist was also the memory of Jesus. Okay? That when we receive the His body, we are connected with Him. Okay? So, in, nilagay namin dito sa note, sasabihan namin ang pare, na ang kanyang, ang homily is the catechesis on prayer. Okay? Sa mass, sa mass, sa Eucharist itself. Okay? And then we shall have a few reminders on the prayer with the scripture. Every day they have to pray with the scripture. Okay? Etc. Etc. Then their journals. Okay? Then after the, the uh, during the Eucharist, okay, we shall uh, have the gift giving and re- revelation of the prayer partner. So the person will be give a gift to the prayer partner. And then the last will be agape. Okay. Yun na po. That's all for five. Okay, thank you, group number five. So you hear you at uh, group number five shown us has shown us how to how they have waved the different stages with uh, to the song that uh, okay yeah. Mm-hmm. Yun lang sa mistaguji wala pa yung community. No? You have to bring in the aspect of community. Maybe they pray for the community. They pray for the world. They pray for society. Kasi your to- your topic is course on prayer, iba. At saka, take note ha, hindi po kit baptismal catechumenate ang ating model, eh, malab daw yung doctrine, moral worship, hindi ah. We are still, you are still, uh, ako, ako, ako ang teacher ng prayer, I will still have to teach the way, I mean, uh, what is prayer? What do you learn under the CCC chapter, yung part 4? Ganon. Only thing is that, when I give, uh, it, that is that is actually in, katik, in the catechumenate. Ano? Not necessarily a lecture, but I'm gonna touch those topics. Uh, hindi tayo dapat malab now in terms of content. Uh, still, we, 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 we uh, give value to the content. So this is because this is not supposed to be a cosmetic change in catechesis. Eh? This is supposed to be transformative from within and without. Sa, sa, sa labas. No? Okay? So halimbawa, sa, sa purifi, purification elimination, dito, you can discuss the battle of prayer, which is found in the CCC. Yung aspect na there is a struggle even in praying. In relation, in relating with God, Lord, how do you find yourself in this situation, in experience of battling with prayer? Yeah. So the CCC will still guide us, di ba? Kasi ngay integral catechesis flows into the purification and illumination. Yeah. Okay. So yun lang yung mga punto lang mga yan uh, para para pero unti unti tayo ano? Wait tayo mo I don't want you to have an information overload. Naga natukol I just like you to feel the the beauty of it and be challenged to really master it. And then, ano? Kaya pare pare tayo. Actually, I tell you, we are in the same journey. I myself am trying to discover more and more the richness of this catechumenate. Bakit talaga ng sinabi ng general model of catechesis to? No, ayaw lang nating sundin. Kasi medyo mahirap magbabago talaga yung paradigm natin eh, di ba? Okay? Let's move to group number four. Okay, uh, good afternoon po. Ang... Um, na ibigay po sa amin is catechist retreat so some preliminaries uh, para retreat ang um, duration po ng retreat namin is 3 days, 2 nights uh, and then since this is a retreat so uh, more silence uh, less activities ay kung Mag, kung matutuloy po ang plano po ni si Father Timex is sa South Korea po 
gagawin. Ang number po ng participants namin na uh, retreatants namin is 40 catechists. Sa budget, sagot rin po ni Father Timex. 1 million daw. Okay. So, day one morning is intended for our uh, general orientation, opening remarks, opening prayer, uh, house rules, uh, unloading yung mga gamit nila, and then uh, it, it will also be used as time for them to relax themselves. For whole morning po, uh, so excuse me, what is the outcome? Ay, yes, Father, sorry. The <laughs> outcome pala namin is uh, at the end of the retreat, the catechists will be transformed to be more committed to give themselves joyfully to God with their fellow catechists in the, in the catechetical ministry. Okay. Go. So, our pre-catechuminate stage starts uh, after lunch of day one. And... Ang magiging activity po namin is, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, our retreat is inspired by the story of the two disciples going to Emmaus. So, ang first activity po namin ay reading of a part of the episode. In order to fit in with the idea of pre-catechuminate, ang verses lang po nababasahin doon sa episode ng Emmaus experience is, the disciples were talking to each other while walking, going to uh, Emmaus. So, ang, ang idea po doon is opening oneself, yung nagda-dialog lang sila, and then uh, we tried to, to put a certain question po para pumasok rin yung appreciative inquiry. The question is, where are you now? So, ang magiging labas po nung afternoon session ng day one is parang magkukwentuhan lang yung isa is, bawat isang katikista about their catechetical ministry. So, wala pong gagawin yung mga staff kundi makikinig lang. Uh, kwento, 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 kwento. For the whole afternoon po yun. And it will end with a Holy Eucharist at 6pm and then in the evening to set the tone for the retreat will be the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. So that's for our pre-catechuminate stage. Next, day two, morning session will be the catechuminate. First activity po namin is Lectio Divina, uh, para medyo may spiritualization din po ng umaga. And that will, uh, another part of the episode will be read on that Lectio Divina. And then, magkakaroon na po ng uh, input, yung, yung meron na pong deepening. At ang isa po sa mga naisip namin na, na input po for this uh, catechumenate stage is the Pascal Mystery. Uh, ay, wait lang po pala. Yung sa, bago po pala yung, ano, yung deepening, mag, may babasahin po ulit part ng uh, episode which presents Jesus explaining to them the laws of Moses, the prophets, yung ina-explain na po niya yung scripture. So Jesus on this part will be presented as a teacher. So as with us, who will facilitate the retreat, we will be uh, giving them some, some in, inputs specifically on the Pascal mystery. Ang point po namin sa Pascal Mystery is Pascal Mystery is the love of God in the person of Jesus Christ. Yun po yung magiging katikisis namin. Doon kami kukuha ng mga bagay na ipang sustain namin doon sa naging outcome noong uh, pre-catechumenate. Yung nagkukwento na sila about their uh, ups and downs in their catechetical ministry ipapasok po namin yung Pascal Mystery that even in the lowest point of Jesus' life when He was persecuted, it is there that His divinity was extolled. So parang ganun po yung um, target po namin that 
even in our in their struggles in their catechetical ministry, their suffering is not just their suffering, but it is the suffering of everyone who engages the who engage themselves in the catechetical ministry as patterned by the first catechist who is Jesus Christ himself. And then yun po, yung yun yung morning session input on the Pascal mystery followed by lunch break. And then day two afternoon pa rin po is our purification and illumination. Uh, may reading of the text po ulit. Ang babasahin na po dito is yung part na when the evening comes, uh, papatuloyin na nung, mga, nung dalawang disciples si Jesus Christ sa kanilang bahay to have to share meal with them and it will and it will let it will turn it will uh, shift yung perspective nung mga disciple from that stranger becoming a teacher explaining to them the scriptures to a friend bakit po because you will not invite someone a stranger in your house if you have not considered him a friend so